What's up, any bitties? It's your girl Latrice back with another B U B Unique video. And as y'all read by the title and seen that thumbnail, then y'all already know why y'all here today. What time is it? 12.59. And you guys, I don't know what we're doing all today, but I just know that we're doing some stuff. So I'm going to take y'all along with us today. Me and my boyfriend is us and have a daily vlog or not. Cause why not? I haven't seen y'all in like a month. So yeah, we're gonna start off this vlog right though. My boyfriend got us some Subway. Um, because I'm just hungry. You're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm so hungry, y'all. And I'm glad he brought me something to eat because I was going to be hungry if I had to go home and get ready without food on my stomach. So, what's up? He went and got his hair cut, y'all. He looks so good. He brought me some food back. And it's crazy because he know my order. He better know my order. Let's see if he got it right. Let's see, let's see, because I think you missed something off of here. Tomato? Yeah. <laughs> Bell peppers. That's it. Banana peppers? Bell peppers. Banana peppers. Oh. That's it. I think I'm bell pepper. But I get a cold cut. They brought that, they brought this bread back. I don't think you got the herbs or something. <laughs> we got Italian and cheese. But we ain't got the herbs. Oh. Um, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but I get a cold cut combo, y'all, with. Um, where's my cheese? It's on there. It's up the Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where pepper jack, lettuce, bell peppers, ranch, onion, but he didn't get onion. And yeah, that's it. I want pickle. I got pickle. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I'm finna eat and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do like the get ready with me process. I don't know what I'm wearing or what I'm doing to my hair, but we'll figure it out when I get there. So yeah, I'll be back. <sighs> All right, y'all, so I have made it to my mama's house. It's currently 1.30 now. Um, we're not in a rush today because I don't think we're going, we have to be at any place at a specific time. So, um, yeah, we're just running some errands today, I think, and, yeah. But, um, I am going to put some clothes in the washing machine because I do need to wash. And my boyfriend is supposed to be taking a nap because he is tired from work. He has been working overtime a lot lately and i was like well you could just take a nap while i'm getting ready or whatever so i'm not gonna rush and hurry up and get ready and he only get like an hour nap in you know what i mean so yeah i'm finna kill some time real quick and then i talk to y'all when i'm actually like sitting down getting ready because i gotta do hair i gotta clean up my eyebrows i gotta cover these pimples up y'all i'm breaking out i've been drinking soda eating chocolate doing a whole bunch of stuff that i know i'm not supposed to be doing that my skin gonna react to but i was craving it y'all so not too much but anyways yeah um i gotta do all of that i gotta put some nails on i got a lot to do but i still got time to kill so let's go do what I gotta do real quick, like showering and putting me some clothes in the washing machine and all of that. And then I'll talk to y'all when I'm actually getting ready, getting ready, okay? So, yeah. Okay, y'all. Hey, it is 3.33 now. Um, I have killed time, like I said I would. Um, I have put another load of clothes in the washer. That's my last load. I only had two loads today. Ooh, ooh. Um, I had colors and I have my white clothes and that's it. Their white clothes are in there for like 30 more minutes and then the the uh, dryer is still going for like 45 minutes. Um, but I'll come back tomorrow to actually fold those clothes up. They're actually going to go on my bed right here once they get done because my boyfriend told me to leave at 5.30 to come over there. Um, I'm probably going to wait till like 6-ish. I ain't even going to lie because... I want him to get a little rest in. I'm not rushing him to do anything because, baby, we spending his money, not mine. So, yeah, I want him to be well rested to swipe his car. Not just like, I don't know what we're doing, but 
Right now, I am about to start getting ready. I am going to get on TikTok Live while I'm getting ready. Just so I can have somebody to talk to. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm talking to y'all, but... I mean, I'm probably going to start speeding some parts up just so the video isn't super duper long of me getting ready. But right now I'm putting on the Equate. Oh, excuse me. It's like Pond's, basically. Um, my face to moisturize. But y'all, I need to shave this mustache off and do my eyebrows. That's probably going to take me like 30 minutes. Probably not. I don't know. I also put on pimple patches, y'all the blemish patch by hand who i got these from walmart i believe if i'm not mistaken but yeah i put those on right here and one right here because baby my skin is just not acting right well i ain't been treating it right let's be honest here i ain't been treating it right so it's not gonna act right of course of course but yeah and then y'all also I haven't been wearing wigs in a little minute. Um, the last wig y'all seen me in was that wig that I installed on my channel from Ally Pearl or whatnot. But um, I used that olive oil whip grip it glue that last time I installed my wigs, and I don't know if that glue is expires, expires, expires or not. But I need to check it because I broke out really, really bad. I don't know if I need to start using skin protected before I start putting on my wigs or what but when I used that glue last time it broke me out really bad along my um hairline around my edges and stuff my skin was literally peeling so I don't know if that was a chemical peel like a chemical reaction like I don't know it was really weird it has never happened to me before so I was just like um, I'm gonna chill and wear wigs for a little bit, you know what I mean? Because I don't know what that was about. And then I also had like a fat tan line, like I couldn't even believe I got that tan line. I didn't even have that wig on for like two weeks, and it was just like ugly. So yeah, um, I fixed that problem. I was putting like Neosporin, I mean not Neosporin, Vaseline right here to like grease it up and then I was putting pods on top of it it was just it was crazy but yeah um anyways I am about to start getting ready I have to start on my eyebrows first so let me get my eyebrow razor got this pack of five from Walmart I think it was like $4.99 yeah don't mind that stuff in the bag y'all that was just some clothes and some bras but I don't know. You don't know how the model will be. So we're going to start with the eyebrows. Because they're grown out, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. And my mustache coming out. So, yeah. But let me do my eyebrows in my... This, cause you see I can't multitask. You see I keep stopping to look at y'all because I don't want to mess up my eyebrows. Like, if you know... I chopped off this eyebrow on one get ready with me. I don't even remember which one it was, but it was one of them get ready with me. So I ended up cutting off the end of this eyebrow, trying to talk and play around and stuff like that. So let me come back when this is done and I'm on to hair because I still don't know what I'm doing to my hair. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I ended up doing my hair off camera because I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I forgot about y'all because I'm on live. And that's what usually happens when I go live. I end up forgetting that I'm recording a YouTube video. But I just did my hair in a slick back, long ponytail. That's it, that's all. I'm gonna start on my nails. These are press ons I'm gonna be putting on y'all. Focus, there you go. Real cute. I put her at name on the screen so y'all go check her out tell her I sent y'all um so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm just talking to the live listening to music y'all but current time update is 5 o'clock now so I have 30 minutes to put these freaking nails on and head out the freaking door my phone was in a dying live so I kind of want to like tell y'all how I prep my nails. So I put this hand on. This is what it's looking like. Real cute, real cute. It looks like a fresh set of acrylics. Like, <laughs> period. It is a fresh set of acrylics, but it's not. I didn't get them done. They're press on. So yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna just tell y'all how I prep my nails. So firstly, what I usually go in and do is like push all my cuticle back. So I use this. Okay. Um, I use this cuticle pusher. I got this from the hair store. You probably could order it online, Amazon, or something like that. I just push all my cuticle back like so. Like I already did it, so that's why I'm really not doing it. But like I just push them all the way back. And then all that excess, um, like um, what do you call it? Cuticle skin. Take this end of it, the little cutter, and you just slide it across like on the cuticle beds, like all the way across, all the way across. Get all that dead skin off. And that plays a big part into lifting and your nails not sticking in your cuticles. That skin that's on your nail bed don't need to be there. So right after that, y'all, I usually take a nail file, nail buffer. I buff out my nails real good like I just do it like probably twice three times maybe um this is what's gonna make your nails have that grip to it you need it to be kind of like cleaned off and get all that oil off so it won't be slipping and sliding and all of that when you put the nail on so after that I usually take like an alcohol wipe I already used them say in the trash can but like a little alcohol wipe clean off your nail beds each one of them or you can just use alcohol with like a cotton swab or something like that just clean them off real good because clean clean you need that clean nail bed i don't know why i can't talk today so yeah she sends in the nail kits this a nail file and then like a cuticle pusher and then an the alcohol wipe and that's all she's saying you have to get your own glue and stuff but the glue that i use is the eden one drop i got the Twitter beauty supply as well some good glue like i said y'all i usually don't have to take off my press on um well they usually don't come off i usually have to take them off is what i meant to say like i said i cannot talk today for some reason i don't know why but i'm gonna show y'all what i be doing i'm moving the camera angle like a little down so y'all can see like me actually pressing them on so basically i did all of the prep like i just told y'all if you want more like in detail i have something on my youtube not my youtube my tiktok but it's probably like all the way down on my page. Like when I first started wearing press-ons, I started doing like press-on videos on my TikTok. Because I had a lot of people ask me like, how do you keep yours on? Or what do you use like to keep them on? Because like they pop off so easily with me. And so I had started doing videos like to show how I prep my nails. Or I could just do a video on here. Like a separate video of me doing like the whole step. The whole nine yards. But i probably do that because it's just easier to do it on here and I can have like a better camera set up and y'all can see it more in detail, you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, also, I put glue all over the nail bed, y'all, like the whole nail bed. Not too much where it's like squeezing out on the sides, but like sometimes it do happen, sometimes it don't. Just depends, but um, I just put enough and then you have to press it on y'all like a lot of people just be popping it on there onto the next nail like make sure that it's stuck and that, that glue is getting on the nail itself like and it's just not sitting under there so yeah that's how I do it and I just find press on nails so convenient y'all know how much I used to go get my nails done like literally every two weeks to three weeks i was getting a new set and not even sometimes not even a feel sometimes a feel sometimes not even a feel so i feel like i was spending a lot of money y'all because um i paid like around 90 around 70 to 100 dollars. that was like the price range depending on the nail length and what i was getting i was spending that much money every two to three weeks on some nails now let me tell y'all y'all the difference between this and that these are still acrylics these are these are very much acrylic press-ons like custom-made acrylic press-ons which are mind-blowing to me because i never knew it was such a thing um so i paid 22 dollars for these y'all let me just cut to the chase um i paid 22 freaking dollars for these that is so cheap like i love it like it's just so much i don't know how to explain it y'all and it's just convenient for me to like have press ons because y'all know i'll be doing my hair sometimes on my own or whatever and i can't braid with nails on 
at all like it's just so hard like that's just a task that i cannot complete with my nails like i can do everything else but doing my braids like braiding down or doing some braids i cannot do with my long nails and y'all know i like to get my nails real long so my sister-in-law ended up finding this girl when i had went on the galveston trip she found her through facebook and they had did service for service for each other and she had got like six nails like six different sets um from her and as soon as i see her posted like because she had posted like a little review on tiktok or whatever as soon as i see my sister and i post that i said where this girl instagram i messaged her girl i had nails when i came back from the trip like i was already on it so yeah ever since then i've been getting press songs about her i usually get like two sets every time i go the last set i had on was brown and like teal i try to insert like a little boomerang or something of them because they were super cute too but they weren't acrylic like she makes the gel ones the gel ones are cheaper because she don't have to put the acrylic on there um and then she makes acrylic press -ons. so yeah she has a little option if you want to go cheaper than 22 dollars it just depends on what you're getting though like she makes her prices up like for different nails and stuff like that so i'm not saying that you're gonna get that same price that i got or you know it might be a little cheaper it just depends but yeah i'm so glad that my sister-in-law found her because without my sister-in-law i wouldn't have found her and i probably would have been still spending my 90 to 80 dollars because my boyfriend had asked me like are you gonna go get your nails done by your senior like your friend like are you going like do i need to send you some money and i was just like not right now like i'm in my press on mode like let me press my nails on and i like how like i could just switch them up and change them like if i needed a different outfit in two days and those nails don't match because that really bothers me too y'all like that was a big thing for me too was like when my nails didn't match my outfit I was ready to change them and that's why i used to change them y'all all the time literally because most of the time they didn't match my outfits or it was just like some bright ass colors that i just i didn't want anymore like i get tired of looking at the same nails over and over again so that's why i used to switch my nails up so much because baby i need to switch up i need the difference i need the you know so yeah that's that's just how i feel so yeah y'all see how quick i just did that let me give my boyfriend a little call call a call real quick. I feel like a bad bitch. Y'all know Liza on um, 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 TikTok? Eliza or Liza? Y'all know what I'm talking about? She like. These are so freaking cute. Look at them, y'all. They were like, I just got my name. Okay, sir, like, are you gonna wake up? I'm gonna have to go knock on that door. I think I'm gonna have to go to his house, y'all, because he's not hearing his phone ring. I gotta go because I definitely have to wake my boyfriend up because he's definitely sleeping. Let me show y'all what I look like, though. I'm at that box. That's what I'm giving. I always got this damn black purse. Like I said, this camera is finna die already. Luckily, I got one more battery. So here, honey. And we finna head out. And I'll see y'all when we get to our destination. Pew. All right, y'all. Time of date, 724. And I wrapped my hair up in a bun because it was getting on my nerves being down all over me and the wind blowing and I don't got time. But we're at Barnes and Noble. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, there you go. My window dirty. Excuse my window. I cleaned it. And now I'm with my. <laughs> my sexy man. I'm just gonna go in here. And I'm gonna find me some lipsticks. Ow! I hit my freaking nail. <sighs> Yeah, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all when I get inside. Okay, y'all. So I went with this one and this one. And now we're heading to check out. It's so many books to look at in here, though. But 
I'm gonna just get these two for now. Y'all, sorry I didn't even record in there because I was really just looking more so for the books and stuff. But they didn't have the Jeanette McCarty book about why her mama died or how her mama died or whatever. So that's the book I was looking for. And then I finally went up to the lady to ask, like, did they have it? And they was like, no, we're sold out. So that's probably gonna be a book that I have to order from like Amazon or something. Sorry, y'all, it was so dark. But... Yeah, it's currently 748 now. I really wasn't looking, looking like all around because I really had my mindset of what I wanted to like go get but I found two books one is about mental health one is about a murder so yeah that's that I don't know what we're gonna get into but I will definitely update y'all so yeah stay tuned okay y'all so we're back at the house now but we stopped and got me some tackets. I put all my little sides on there and stuff. I also got hush your mouth. Hush your mouth, Toss. They all cousin. The bad one. He said because I won't let him out, but he gonna try to jump on me. And I got two more. So I got a total of five. Cause I like to eat. Did they give me my sour cream? <gasps> my circle. I ain't get my circle. They better be lucky I got some here because I really would be mad and upset. But I also got some Cheeto puffs. I know, not to help you. I got these. It was like one of my favorite gummies. And then I just got a Gatorade to drink. But I'm finna smash this food because I am starving. And sorry for the camera and uh not the camera angle, the camera quality because I thought I charged up both of my uh extra camera batteries and I did not in fact do that. So yeah, I have to record off my phone again. So I started the video off on my phone too this morning. But yeah. Um I'm gonna eat um I might record something tomorrow. Just because I feel like this video is really not that long and I don't really do that much, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Tomorrow, I gotta I gotta do my mama hair for sure because she's going to this football game, PV versus Grambling. I don't, she said she's going to see um, Ashanti. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow. I'm done because I'm finna eat and it's no point in me trying to struggle to figure out a camera setup and the lighting look like this anyway, so. Yeah, I'm gonna eat real quick and take a shower and go to bed. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, it is the next morning. It is currently 9 17. And me and my boyfriend came to the donut shop. Well, really, he's super hungry. So, um, he came to the donut shop. I really don't, I'm not hungry, hungry, but I'll probably eat in a little bit. But we got Tarzan in the back. Oop, I shocked him. Sorry, Dad. I shock you or did you shock mom but yeah we had the donut shop um this is probably like the best donut shop on our side of town um here come on boyfriend he looks so handsome but <laughs> he got the back <laughs> but um yeah this is probably like the best donut shop on this side of town i love this donut shop y'all that's what we're doing right now. Get back, Tar. Stop. Are you breathing that hot breath on me? But, yeah, my boyfriend just grabbed this food real quick. And we're finna go to the house. We're finna go to the house. I don't know what time I'm supposed to be going with my mama. She still haven't texted me. She didn't text me last night. She didn't call me back last night with any info. Or whatever time she's going to see um, Ashanti in concert today or whatever. So I don't know. But I pick up the vlog when we doing something. Why not? He got me the burrito. Burrito. Morning now. No. I'm, I'm thirsty, but 
Goodbye. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'll see y'all in a little bit. Go sit down. All right, y'all. So it's later on in the day, and it's about to be like 1 p.m. I haven't did anything, but I did go to the hair store, and I completely forgot to vlog in there. Like, and my boyfriend literally reminded me before I went in there, but I still. It's just, it's, I forgot, you know? But I got these lashes. My mom wanted me to go and go get her some lashes because she's going to that concert. So I picked these two. One of them is just darker, but they're I am the one of the styles is K M I. I mean, K E. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Who are you talking to, girl? <laughs> My camera. Oh. Um, but y'all, one of the styles is K M E I O A, and then the other one is O Seven. Which one you like? I know you be getting them darker, so I got a darker or a lighter one, but they're kind of similar. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna do my mama hair and put her lashes on, so I'm gonna be recording. Mommy, is that okay? Can I record you? While well, I'm getting you ready? That's more than enough. Sit down. Come on. Oh. Come on. Mom. I don't think I like the way you're talking to me. I don't like the way that you always put me under pressure of doing your hair in a certain time frame, and you know I like to take my time. But take your time. Take your time. I'm not in a rush. Take your time. Don't y'all have to leave that too? We're supposed to be leaving at 2. What time does it start? Hmm? Jason said, I don't know. How don't you know Papa anything? said that, I don't know if he's correct or not, that it's Ashanti supposed to be on at 4. I don't know if that's right or not. And that's all y'all going for? No. You're going for the halftime show. Probably in the back. My your hair is product built up. Like, so you want me to go wash it real quick? Are you kidding me? Can I go wash it real yes. quick? Yes. Please do so. If you want the best results, please do so. And that's what this is what I'll be talking about right here. Ask me to do something for them. Don't come prepare. Yeah, this is what it's like to be the family hairstylist. If y'all want to know, like the insiders of doing other people's hair. And I'm not even a hairdresser either. But I did go to cosmetology school. And I thought I had a little experience of dealing with folks. Now, I forgot. Oh my God, the camera recorded. <laughs> yeah, I ended up washing her hair myself because. Yeah, it's 108. See, I told y'all 101. She need to be done in five minutes. We got it done. It's time to hurry up. You need your hair color. I got a box dye. You been knowing I need my hair color. You told me to embrace the gray. No, I'm talking about from this red. I'm not oh. talking about the gray. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> cute girl, cute. 
<laughs> all right you guys so it is currently 8 12 p.m now i didn't show y'all my outfit i didn't show y'all my hair we was rushing to get out the house to make it to the drive-in movie on time it starts at 8 20 it is 8 12 right now we just parked um my boyfriend got us a wing stop so we snuck some wing stop in here Shh, don't tell nobody um we was gonna eat the food here but we just felt like wing stop would have been better but we're seeing the movie smile and this is the only movie planned tonight because usually the coyote drive-in usually play two movies but they only got this one so yeah well, got people driving around but we're in the car you want to say hey what's up yo and we finna start eating and stuff i'm gonna show y'all the screen real quick but y'all that's the screen we in the back this hole is packed y'all like from the front to the back it is cars everywhere so i hope this is a good movie there's a lot of people here but they bring the food to the cars and stuff now like you don't even have to get out no more that was like if that stay in y'all cars we'll bring y'all y'all shit so we'll probably get something but i'll show y'all that later the room to possess. Y'all, yeah, it's so many cars still pulling up. Like, how, how, it's like terror. how, how many, many cars can come in here? Two of me, I never had a green old No way, how are we turning into a hair? you guys so we are back at the crib and i'm gonna give y'all an honest rating of the movie like because y'all it was given like three four point five out of ten like i feel like we predicted the movie before the movie even ended like we we could see the plot and i wasn't liking that and then we ended up guessing right so like it was just like hmm whatever and then we heard that it was supposed to be really scary and it was not scary like at all to me like some parts a little bit but it's not like oh yeah that's a scary movie but hmm, i'm gonna give it a 4.5 what you give it a five at a team you know it's just it's just not it i don't know i wouldn't recommend it like i mean if you watch it at home for free yes but going to pay for it now um so yeah but we did have a good time other than that it was pretty chill my boyfriend kept falling asleep y'all and i was trying to get him on camera but it was dark in there so y'all can see him going to sleep but he kept falling asleep so that's how you know the movie wasn't that good because my boyfriend gonna stay up for the whole movie until the end if it's a good movie but yeah um so I didn't get to take any pictures tonight either, y'all, because my bun messed up. And I'm not taking pictures with this messed up bun. Like, it's just, it, it's not giving. So, I'm going to try to do this outfit over again because the outfit is cute. But my hair is just not cute enough for me in the outfit, if you get what I'm saying. And then I didn't get to put my lashes on or anything, y'all. So... We definitely got to do this outfit up again. And then nobody see it. I sat in the car. We didn't even walk to. You know what? If nobody sees the outfit. You didn't get pictures in the outfit. The outfit is getting reworn. The outfit is going in the washing machine. And it's getting reworn. Like. Period. So. 
I want to show y'all what I'm looking like real quick. Hold on. Let me let me set the camera up. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Sorry about the setup, but this 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 is what we gotta do. So I got this top from Amazon, y'all. It's a two piece set. Yeah, I looked up women's tracksuits and it's like velvet something. So yeah, I got that in a size medium. This was for my 22nd birthday like it was for one of the outfits that i had wore to work and then i got these pants for my 21st birthday from like a local boutique but they flared out at the bottom they got all these roots in them which right here they just so cute and then like this belt is my mom's belt she used to wear it back in the day girl and then i just put these crocs on because why not? I just feel like the outfit is simple and cute, but like my hair is just not, it's not cutting it for me, you know what I mean? So we're gonna redo it. I might add something, I might switch my pants, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but I wanna take pictures in something like this. So yeah, when I put my lashes on, maybe a little beat to the face, maybe something like that. And then I'll take pictures, but I do want to still take them in the parking garage. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video of, like, day in the life of a social media person, influencer, you know what I mean? Because I am going to have some stuff coming up soon. But all of that will be coming. So, yeah, remember to be you and be unique. Like, comment, and subscribe for more, y'all. I'm going to end it here. Thank y'all for watching what I do on the weekends with my man. Because it's usually just it between me and him. Or I be with my mama and him, you know what I mean? Or I be with Bree, like. But, yeah. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.